What's up guys, JV2017 here with my first Far Harbor Tips and Tricks video, and today I'm going to share my unique weapon guide for Adam's Judgment, a Children of Adam sledgehammer and the most powerful melee weapon available in the new DLC. In this video, we'll look at where you can find this weapon, how it can be modded, and my overall thoughts on the sledge, how it stacks up to other melee weapons in the game. But before we begin, there will be some inevitable story spoilers involved with giving this weapon. So if you haven't yet interacted with the Children of Adam in Far Harbor and you're really trying to avoid spoilers, you should stop watching now if you don't want to get spoiled. The Adam's Judgment is given by Grand Zealot Richter to the player after completing the Heretic side quest, and in order to get this side quest, you have to go to the Nucleus, which is the Children of Adam base in the DLC. I believe you can actually do this and obtain this weapon within the first hour of the game if you really try, if that's like your number one priority, but you must complete Far From Home and travel to Far Harbor. That's the very first Far Harbor quest. It's basically necessary in order to start this DLC and get this weapon. So you have to do that. You may have to complete Walk in the Park and possibly where you belong main quest, but on the other hand, like I just said, you may be able to just run straight to the nucleus since you can find it on the map very easily. Just go to that location and then start, you know, doing quests with the Children of Adam. And if you do that, I'm sure you can go ahead and get this weapon very early. Regardless if this is your priority or not, within the first hour and a half to two hours, you will come across the Children of Adam. And once you've made it to that point, you have to complete Visions in the Fog, which is a side quest to gain entrance into the nucleus. And then you have to talk to High Confessor or Tectus after you've completed that side quest. So that'll open another kind of group of side quests called What Adam Requires, and that offers several different branching quests within the Children of Adam. You can talk to different people and start different side quests that kind of support the Children of Adam. And at that point, then you can talk to Grand Zealot Richter, and he will give you the Heretic side quest. Fortunately, there's nothing too complicated about this side quest once you get it. Pretty self-explanatory. First, you'll travel to two locations a bit south of the Nucleus to investigate a defector sister of the Children of Adam. She is not, you know, friendly to them anymore, and you're trying to track her down and essentially kill her. That's what, you know, Richter asks you to do. So those two locations will lead you to a church where you'll find the sister, and then you have an option. You have a player choice kind of thing here. So first, you can kill the sister like Richter asked of you, and of course, that'll just complete the mission easy enough but you can also convince her to do one of two things you can tell her to return to the children of adam if you have high enough charisma or you can tell her to just leave and then lie to richter and say that you killed her and you know he'll assume that you killed her and that'll complete the quest but regardless of any option that you choose no matter what you will get the adam's judgment so don't be worried about that just pick whichever one fits you best and you'll have this weapon upon returning to grand zealot richter and turning in the quest he will give you the adam's judgment which is basically just just a sledgehammer, you know, all those fusion cores wrapped together, but it's got this weird kind of green radiation stuff hanging on it. It looks really cool. And with six strength and zero ranks of big leagues, this weapon deals 82 damage, as you can tell, with slow swing speed. However, don't be alarmed because normal weapon damage and radiation damage can get up into the 300s with maxed out big leagues and higher strength. So if your focus is on a melee character with those melee perks and special stats, then it will just go really, really high. It's fairly powerful weapon. And the Adam's Judgment unique modifier adds 100 additional radiation damage, which also seems to scale up with big leagues and strength, so that can get up into the high numbers too. And the radiation damage can be pushed even further with certain upgrades as well. I've seen it up into the 600s in the subreddit, for example. In terms of modding, we've only got two options beyond just no mods. And the first is heating coil, which adds additional energy damage to the weapon, very similar to the sledgehammer upgrade, pretty much the same thing. That requires blacksmith rank two, not too steep of a requirement requirement if you are a melee character. Then we have Stun Pack, which adds additional electrical damage instead of just regular energy damage, and a chance to stun, which actually procs fairly often. For some reason, it procced every like four to five swings for me, which is pretty useful, but that'll require Blacksmith rank three and Science rank one to get Stun Pack, and also it does kind of offer a bit less energy damage, so it's kind of a trade-off. If you want that extra stun kind of effect, then you'll have to get a little less damage, but it's not that much considering how much damage this entire weapon can deal. After testing out the Adam's Judgment, I really love it that Bethesda added a new giant melee weapon that's actually worth grabbing. It's huge and it feels like really weighty in your hands like a normal sledgehammer, but it's special. It's got this radiation damage on it. But unfortunately, a lot of the creatures in Far Harbor really don't seem to be affected by the bonus radiation damage. Of course, a lot of enemies in Fallout in general are not affected by radiation. They're immune, like super mutants, I think, have 
Either they have higher resistance or they're completely immune, and then certain creatures are completely immune. But this weapon does absolutely obliterate humans and other enemies that aren't resistant to radiation damage. It just tears through them because all of that just adds together, and it's crazy. Even still, I wouldn't say this is the best all-purpose melee weapon in the game, simply because the Krem's Tooth exists. It's just far and away amazing. You can use it as a you know sneak melee weapon, and you can use it as a normal melee weapon if you buff it all the way. It's like 200 damage or something something and it's got a you know a medium swing speed the big problem with this weapon is the fact that it's slow it's a sledgehammer so it's a little bit slow you have to deal with that but it deals a ton of damage it hits like a truck if you're you know fighting against non radiation resistance enemies overall it's definitely one of the best if not the best slow two-handed weapons out there now so definitely worth picking up if you're a melee character just to try it out I'd like to hear from you guys will you go and get the Adam's judgment it's a pretty quick mission once you're able to get there and unlock it, it takes about 15 minutes really painful let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the Adam's Judgment unique sledgehammer in Far Harbor. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for Far Harbor DLC, my Far Harbor playthrough, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.